Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to discuss about the difference between parallel sailing and plain sailing. So, sailing along a parallel of latitude, that is the starting and the destination position is in the same latitude. And here, the distance will be equal to departure and the course will be either 090 degree or 270 degree. Now, the plain sailing. As we all know, the size of the earth is very large. So if we consider a small surface on the earth, then we can uh, use, we can consider it as flat and use the plane trigonometry. And when we use this plane trigonometric formula, we will call it plane sailing. And it has only one limitation that we can only use up to 600 nautical miles. If we use it beyond 600 nautical miles, then due to the curvature of the earth, there may be errors so now the parallel sailing formula so the parallel sailing formula consists of departure upon d long is equal to cos of latitude so the derivation of this formula can be discussed in another video while in plain sailing we use departure upon d long is equal to cos of mean latitude to find the departure of the to find the departure of the track or you can say departure between the, the two positions and uh, uh, addition to this formula we also use other plane trigonometric formulas that uh, i know you all have studied in class 10th now we will solve one problem related to parallel sailing and one problem related to plane sailing so in this question it is given that initial position a is 47 degree south and 054 degree west and the final position is b and the course is 270 degree and the distance between these two points is 412 miles as we all know that uh, in a parallel sailing departure is equal to what departure is equal to distance so we will use the formula that is departure upon d long is equal to cos of latitude and from this formula we will get what we will get d long as departure equals to d uh, distance so 412 and sake of latitude and uh, solving this you will get the d long and this is the d long and i know that you can find the d long or you can say the longitude of position b after getting d long so i am not going to solve further and the latitude of b is same as the latitude of a so now we will solve a problem related to plane sailing so in this question you can uh, see uh, that uh, the position a is 0 4 degree 1 6 minute south and 177 degree 37 minute west b is this and from here we will uh, get the d long so we have calculated the d long converted into minutes and uh, then we will what we will find the mean latitude because in plain sailing we need mean latitude as you we have discussed earlier so using we will find the departure using the formula this departure upon d long is equal to cos of mean latitude and we will get the departure as 179 decimal 0 minute west so now we will use the plane trigonometric formula and we will draw the plane sailing triangle and uh, this is position number a this is position number b and between them is the distance and this is the departure this is the d lat ac is departure cb is d lat and uh, the angle a is angle b ac is the course so using the formula that is tan course equals to departure upon d lat we can find the course Similarly, using another formula of uh, plane trigonometry, we can easily find the distance between them. That is 442 decimal 8 miles. So this much is important from the topic of difference between parallel ceiling and plane ceiling and hope you have liked it. Thank you.